Hi everyone, today we're doing the second part of our series on the tenses and we're looking at the perfect past, present and future tense. Um, this is when you have to make it clear that something happens before another thing. So sometimes you're talking about two things that both happened in the past or something that's carried on, it started in the past and it's carrying on till now and that's when you use these tenses. So the first one is the present perfect tense. So that's when you want to talk about something that happened in the past and it's still happening now. It's a bit like, you know, in the three bears when the little bear says, someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there. It's that kind of story you want to tell. So this sentence makes it very clear that something that is happening right now happened in the past. Mrs. Carey has studied English since it, she was a little girl. It means that I am still learning about English and I'm still working with that subject, um, but that I didn't start just now. I've been doing it continuously since I was a little girl. Mrs. Carey has studied English since she was a little girl. And it's that has that makes it the perfect. So Mrs. Carey has studied English. And you'll notice this is like the past tense. So Mrs. Carey has studied English since she was a little girl. It's a continuation. There are other perfect tenses, of course. There's the past perfect tense, you know, in the past. Um, and this is when you had to say two things happened and they both happened and what order they happened, but they're in the past. And again, you're using this has and this had. So by the time Mohammed found his bag, the class had started. So you've got two things there. Mohammed, who's clearly lost his bag, he's found his bag and the class has already started. Both of those things happened in the past, but the thing that started, the thing that happened first was the class had started, then Mohammed found his bag. And so you show that the order that it happened is the class had started. So it had started already and he was late because he took ages finding his bag. And similarly, sometimes you'll need to show that two things will happen in the future and the order that they're going to happen in. So what you need to do is you need to use the future perfect. So by the time you take your exam, you will have spent plenty of time revising. So again, you've got have had here and you've got a past version of the verb. So by the time you take your exam, you will have spent plenty of time revising. So this is going to happen in the future and this is going to happen first in the future. This is quite a tricky one to get your head around. If you Google um, past, present, future tense, you can see. But essentially the, the key thing is, have you put the have or the had? And have you put a past tense version of the verb in? That makes it clear that whatever you're doing, it's like two things happening in order. The other thing is that if you start your sentence with a phrase like by the time, yeah, look, by the time, the exception being here, you don't need it because what I'm saying there is that something from the past is continuing. Thank you very much. Please tune in next video and we'll be looking at some other forms of the past, present and future tense.